I am like so staggered. I would not have believed that this was Barbados, that I would hear this, that people, I mean, I don't know the, the details of the case, but I, I just find it staggering to hear that a person can be saying something on a beach. I don't know. I, I, I didn't hear they said that there was any direct threat issue to any person and, and you get remanded for 28 days for harassment. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm staggered. I, I am so shocked. But the point that Lumumba went on to make is the very important point. Now in Nazi Germany, I tell you, I study Nazi Germany. So I read so much no sense because of what is going on in this country. There was this particular priest and he wrote this poem. In the end, he wrote this poem. First, they came for the socialists. And I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists. And I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Mm -hmm. Then they came for the Jews. And I did not speak out because I am not a Jew. Correct. Then they came for me. And there was no one left to speak for me. Martin Nelmonier, uh, 1892, 1984. He lived a long time. But here it is, if that kind of situation has happened under the circumstances that was described here on the show, it would behove everyone to take stock and to take note because whatever happened to A can happen to B. Don't say, don't say I am not one of them. I don't belong to the Rastafarian community. I don't belong to the Muslim. I don't have a tam on my head. Don't talk any of that kind of thing. If the police can arrest a person like that, who's speaking on the beach, you know it, if it happened to A, it can happen to B. And it, it is very important to probably find out the details to find out exactly what happened there. So we see how far things are going and let's try and support one another and be very careful. I am surprised that what I've heard there, I will try to find out exactly what happened there, but I find that extremely disturbing. And yes. this is not the direction for our country to be going in. This, this, those are the hallmarks and the traits of a Nazi state. <laughs> that's, that's a police state. This is not what we should be doing here. This is not how we work together. And we're talking about creating this new republic for all of us and a republic that we're all proud of and we're part of and we break from the queen and our and we are arresting citizens expressing their views on the beach. beach. Come on. <laughs> Come it, on. It, it I, I mean, I, I would have to try and see if I can hear what the lady said and ask a lawyer if that sounds like a threat to someone's life or something. But I'm not hearing it for the first time. But for me, they, we are. it is getting very edgy. It's getting very edgy. I want to say again, I'm quoting from Martin Neil Muller. He was a priest, a Lutheran priest in, in Germany during the Nazi time. And he regretted his compliance. He regretted his silence. He regretted his silence during the Nazi persecution. First, they came for the communists. And I said nothing because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialists. And I did not speak out because I am not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists. And I did not speak out because I am not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews. Uh -huh. I did not speak out because I am not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. We need to be very careful. We need to be very careful saying, I am not an anti-vaxxer. Say uh -huh. I am not, I am not, um, I, don't, I, belong, I don't belong to the nation of Islam. I am not a Rasta. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. All the other labels that you want put on people. But I'm just telling you, what I heard today was extremely disturbing. And if it can happen to one, if it can happen to A, it can happen to B. Let's take stock 
and let's take stock and let's support um let's support the gentleman and his friend and see how best we can yeah. do in this situation I